Hey, it's Peter coming to you today, and I just uh, got done riding my bike down here in Florida. And so this is a picture of me, uh, not today, but what I used to race a couple years back in a triathlon. And what I want to talk about today is how do you measure success in your business? And I'm going to relate that to my story of, of being a triathlete, because as I would race, I would measure everything I did with one of these little devices. This is on my bike. I don't think you can see that. This is called a Garmin device. It's an 800 something. But anyway, it measures everything I do on my bike. Speed, average speed, how fast I pedal, how many watts I'm burning. So I know exactly how well I'm performing. And, and the reason we do this is because when you're training for racing, you want to constantly be getting better, right? If I, you know, speed is one thing, but I want to know how much energy I'm outputting to get that. I want to know all the metrics of my performance. And, and the other part, this is another device. This is a watch, a Garmin watch. But this device is, <laughs> is really cool because you can wear it when you're swimming in the lake. And, and I don't know if you've ever tried to swim in a lake, but it's really hard to go straight. And so this device measures how much you zigzag back and forth. It measures your cadence of your arms and all that stuff. And so this technology is phenomenal for racing. But the point of the message today is how are you measuring your success for your business? What are your measuring devices? What are you using to measure the key metrics of your online business? I mean, sales is one measurement for sure. And that's like speed when I'm racing. But that's not the only thing that matters. You know, where, where's the sales coming from? What kind of uh, response rates are you getting? What kind of click-through rates are you getting? What is your cost per order? I mean, I can go on and on and on about the metrics that are very important to an online business. Now, what's really cool is when you know a metric that's not performing, you can fix it. You can train. You can get, I would get my coach, right? When I couldn't run, my, and running is very important to um, to a triathlete because running is the last part of the race and the people who can run the fastest win. And so what I'm saying is in your business, there's going to be key metrics that you're probably not aware of that can be measured and can be improved. And that's kind of what I do. I'm a business coach. I help online business owners improve their online sales process. And, and what I do is I look for the gaps. I look for the holes in your process that I can fix with one of these devices or a tool we can measure. And, and a lot, unfortunately, a lot of business owners don't always know everything to measure. I didn't know anything about cadence when I started racing, but when you're riding a bike, how fast you pedal makes an enormous difference. And if I pedal too fast or too slow, I'm wasting energy. And so I had to learn all that stuff. And I'm suggesting in your business, perhaps you need to learn some of that too. So reach out to me if you want a quick call and, and, and talk for 15 or 20 minutes about what's going on in your online sales process, and I'll see if I can help. All right. Have a grand day, and uh, I'll see you on the course.